Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a chitty chatty video. I actually just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the fun things I did this week. So yesterday I actually had the chance to do somebody's senior photo makeup and that was so much fun you guys. I had such a blast. And I actually used this new palette that I picked up from Makeup Geek on her. If I can find any pictures, I will insert it here, but I didn't take any personally. But I just knew this would be the perfect palette because it's so simple and neutral. And I just have wanted this palette since I saw it launch. And luckily last weekend or Labor Day weekend, it went on sale for 20% off, so I jumped right on it. I'm a huge fan of the Makeup Geek shadows, and so this one comes with nine shades. We have Rapunzel in the Spotlight, which I believe is already one of our colors, and then So Pale, and then Tan Lines, which I already have, Buffed, Creased, Cabin Fever, Grandstand, and Dark Rose. So some of these shades are already part of the Makeup Geek line, and some are brand new shades, and I can just see myself using this constantly, day after day. Plus, I thought it would be a really awesome bridal palette as well. So if I ever do any more brides or any other like simple makeup sort of occasions, I think this will totally come in handy. So that was story number one. And then today, um, it was the VIB preview sale for holiday at Sephora. So I had like a little um, Instagram giveaway and uh, my friend Jordan actually went with me, which was really fun. I actually went to college with her and I was her college RA and she is now obsessed with makeup. So I'm going to throw a picture of us up here as well. And we went to the event and we had such a good time talking about makeup and shopping. And I was really impressed guys because Sephora inside JCPenney here in Fargo actually is carrying Rihanna's Fenty Beauty line and it was so funny because the other day I posted on Facebook and I'm like you know what this whole Fenty thing not really into it but once I saw all the products and the fact that she came out with 40 foundations it like blew me away so I was really excited to see the collection there and uh, I don't know if it's still on my face but I have the Trophy Wife highlighter on my cheekbones as my highlight and the girl at Sephora put it on me and honestly I wasn't even sure if it would work with my skin tone. I did order it online at 2 a.m. on was it Thursday that the line came out? I'm still waiting for my package. I'm assuming it's gonna be here on Monday with two day shipping. I'm so excited for Fenty Beauty and I'm excited to review those products for you guys but I did swatch the highlighter at the store and it was Stunning. So I'm really excited um, to see Rihanna coming in to the makeup industry. And then, because I live in Fargo, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but it's very cold here in the wintertime. But in the summertime, we do have a farmer's market, and it has been so fun to go this summer. So I just wanted to show you a few things I picked up from the farmer's market, give some businesses a shout out. Now this place doesn't actually have a booth at the farmer's market but the store is located very close to the farmer's market this is from unglued and their yobo sweet shop in the back these are my favorite candies from there they're like the spicy peppers they're literally the spiciest candy you'll ever eat so if you're really into that like mango salty sweet type candy you'll love this but it is really hot like I was using a glove to grab and put it in this bag and I used my mouth to pull the glove off my hand and literally I could like feel the spice. So this is bomb. I love this. Every time I go there I want to restock that. And then I bought, oh this was from my husband's purchase. This is a grain free all organic training treat for our dog from a brand called New Breed and it was so cool because they actually use, um, I want to say flack from the local breweries too to make dog treats. I don't know if these are those kind but Rail just bought these for Lucy um, to help train her some more with things so I was just really excited so shout out to them for their dog treats. And then I picked up a shirt because I'm obsessed 
with the company Lost in Fargo and they just make really cute like Fargo gear. So I picked up this t-shirt. You guys know I love t-shirts. I'm like a t-shirt whore. Um, and this one is so cute. It just says Fargo right there and I already got makeup on it because that's how I roll. But I'm so excited. I think this will look so cute with just like ripped jeans and a cute little knot and it's just so comfy and soft. So really happy to support Lost in Fargo. The other shirt I have that says I Believe in Fargo is also from that same brand. So all of these local companies I will definitely link down below. Also, totally forgot to show you guys, I didn't actually in end up buying anything from the Sephora preview, but they did give me a goodie bag. So that was really sweet of them. And uh, let's see what's in here. So I'm seeing the Rose Face Mask by Fresh, which is awesome. And I want to try that. And then this is a Bosque, um, the Charcoal Makeup Melter, Cleansing Oil Balm, Bumble and Bumble BB Repair Blow Dry Serum in Creme to repair hair with every blow dry. Super cool. Makeup Forever Skin Booster. Ooh, this is cool because this is new. I haven't tried this. I believe it's like their oil, isn't it? Cute little mini things make my heart happy. And what else is in here? We have some Sephora brand primer and a Stila Stay All Day Water Liquid Eyeliner. Oh cute, it's like a really mini. Oh and this is cool, I wanted to try this. It's a Kat Von D setting powder that I've heard really mixed reviews on. So that was in this little goodie bag from Sephora. So that was really nice of them to give that to me. And then I also did recently place an order with ColourPop. So that came in, I ordered more of the ColourPop concealers. I actually played myself and forgot to order the color I actually wanted. So I ordered color number 40, which is too light. Color number 65, which isn't super dark, but it's definitely not the right shade. I needed color 60 and I bought 65 because I thought I bought 50, 60 last time, but actually I bought 40, 50. So played myself there and then this is color 70 super dark as well so yeah eventually i'll probably just own all of these because they are a bomb concealer and those are only six dollars and then i also ordered another one of their nail polishes this is in the shade first wings first and i have this one called one wish two wish and honestly this is the prettiest nail polish i own it's like a holographic nail polish and I really like the formula, so I decided to pick up this shade because I thought it was really pretty. I really like the ColourPop um, nail polishes. I hope they come up with new shades. And then I also picked up their brow gel, which is actually more like a paste. It has like a white like paste on it, so it's interesting. Um, it doesn't leave like a white cast or anything, but it's interesting. I'm still learning the formula. And then because they hit 5 million, on Instagram, they were giving free products, so I got the Super Shock Shadow in Party of Five. And then this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte in the shade Take Five. And this is actually a really beautiful rosy pink shade. And I love it. So hopefully that looks normal. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you guys, I have been trying to... Uh, mascara is out. This is the Rimmel Volume Colorist and this is a mascara with a lash tint. It's supposed to make your lashes darker over time. I have dark lashes already so I haven't really noticed anything. This formula I really like and it's a little bit affordable guys because I've been noticing a lot of mascaras in the drugstore right now are in like the 10 to $9 range. So I was trying to find more affordable ones, so I did pick this up, and then I also picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is a lot of makeup artists' favorite mascara. I personally don't really love it, and I have tried it before, but I wanted to try it again just to see if I felt any different about it. So I will keep you guys posted, but I am testing those out as well. So the last thing I want to show you guys in this haul slash, like, my day um, kind of video is these brushes that I picked up from the Sonia Kashuk line at Target. So this is what the set actually looks like. I picked some up because they're on clearance um, as Christmas gifts and it's a really nice set. But I had some previous Sonia Kashuk brushes that I owned 
and they were not very good quality so I was always hesitant to buy Sony Kashuk but these were so affordable I was like okay I'll buy it and if I don't like them I can return them too so I did pick up a set for myself and these are really nice and soft I really like this brush for setting my under eye and using powder this is a really nice blush brush as well so I really enjoy these brushes if you see them at your local Target I would recommend picking them up 100% and then the reason I was looking at the Sony Akashic brushes was because I saw this set and actually Shaylee I love her channel I watch it all the time she had just picked these up too and she showed them in a haul video so I was like okay if Shaylee got them and she likes them then I want to get them too and so I did end up picking them up they were 10% off which made them a little bit better but Shaylee had done the math on her channel and she said if you paid full price for this each brush was like three dollars and 75 cents or something which I thought was a steal and like I mean look at this it's so beautiful so if these are anything like the quality of these I think you would be good to go so I would totally recommend picking up these beautiful brushes and who doesn't need brushes like I need them all the time I use them a lot and they always need to be cleaned so I like to have multiple brushes for different things so I just wanted to show you guys some random things chat with you tell you about my life a little bit if you guys have not checked out the Red River Farmers Market I would totally recommend it especially if you live in Fargo it's such a fun time especially when the weather is nice and there's a lot of local produce and vendors and food my god I ate so much today we had a crepe I had a Nutella crepe I had food from Everest Tika house um, we just ate like pigs what was the other thing I ate oh there was this Vietnamese curry chicken bun which took me right back to Sri Lanka so it was amazing and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weird haul and thank you so much for watching guys bye